Hello and welcome to Tungsten Tales. I'm John Scott and I'm here previewing every first round game of the Lakeside World Professional Dance Championship with Macy Ace, Chris Mason. Monday 8th of January, afternoon session on Channel 4. First game up is another prelim. David Cameron against Michael Unterbuckner. Now David Cameron is nicknamed Excalibur. Of course we like to refer to him as the ex-Prime Minister. Um, but Unterbuckner, don't know a lot about him, come through the qualifiers at Bridlington. Yeah, and he's, since he's come through the qualifiers, uh, he found out a great stat. He had nine darter somewhere in a, in a ranking event. Uh, so can obviously play the game. Uh, not a player I know a great deal about. Uh, Cameron, a lot of experience. Played uh, Lakeside many times. His fifth or fifth or sixth appearance here at Lakeside. Played in some world trophies. Doesn't have much success on TV, which has to be a bit of a worry. Uh, the bookies have, have got Michael just about favourite for this one at four to seven. And I think there might be some value there, just on based on the very fact that um, David Cameron's won one game and then lost to Danny Nopper 12 months ago. Yeah. Uh, so that's no great shame, but the fact that he's he's not won a game in the World Trophy, and I think he's had three of those, it's a little bit of a worry, a little bit of a worry. So I think the bookies may have this one just about right, and at four to seven, there's a little bit of value. Now, David Cameron does win a lot of Opens over in Canada, though. Yeah. So, I mean, he's obviously got the game to beat these guys. You see other Canadian players who have come through, John Park, Jeff Smith. So, And these are the events Jeff Smith would be going to. Mm. And he's Canadian's number one player according to the rankings. So, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a good sign, but maybe it's just he, he does get stage fright and he just can't settle on that lakeside stage uh, or any stage in front of a camera because if he's having success away, then there must be you know, on the in-floor events, and there must be something going on in his mind that he just can't can't get over. He may, maybe just gets a little bit too nervous, and whoever wins this one is going to have a toughie anyway because he'll be playing Jamie Hughes, Jamie Hughes. In, in the round one proper. Yeah, obviously another guy, semi-finalist last year. I mean, Glenn Durant really turned it on against him in yeah. that semi last year. But, you know, Jamie's been a solid player for the last few years, always there or thereabouts in most TV tournaments, major tournaments. Um, it's going to be a tough one for whoever wins that game. Yeah, another player that played OK in the slam, which was on his doorstep. I, mean, I know Jamie very well. I've lived in the West Midlands for over 10 years uh, before I moved away. So, yeah, a player I've seen a lot of. I've actually seen him sort of develop into the player he is now. Doesn't do quite well enough in TV tournaments. He always somehow just turns up and either, as we've seen last year, Durant absolutely blitzed him uh, or he just slightly underperforms. And he, he needs to, he's, an, he's another guy who works full time and he's got quite a, quite a, a stressful job. I'm just not, not convinced with Jamie it's, and it's a shame. I expected him to kick on I mean, he's still got time. He's still young in terms of dark players. Let's not forget Phil Taylor didn't win his first world title until he was nearly 30. So darts is one of those very forgiving games in terms of age. Uh, I'd expect whoever does come through and I should imagine it will be Michael that will come through. He'll beat David Cameron and then and Jamie will probably or I would say most definitely uh, win that first round proper and then hopefully get on a bit of a run. I'd like to see him I'd like to see him win one of the BDO's sort of flagship events, whether it be the World Trophy, the Masters or or the World Championships. He's he's definitely due uh, to win a big one and, and hopefully it's this week for him. Stay tuned right here on Tungsten Tales in association with Winmore Darts for all the post-match interviews and live updates from the Lakeside World Professional Darts Championship.